Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Bub's Comics. I'm your host, Bub, and today we're going to uh, go over some books I picked up at mycomicshop.com and stick around at the end because I have a short pickup from Instagram as well, including ooh, a key first appearance. All right, uh, let's get right to the haul. <laughs> All right, so first off, uh, went to mycomicshop.com, got a bunch of books, my monthly dump. They all send them to me once a month. And then I got a couple of pickups from Instagram from my good buddy, uh, Barbarian Kung Fu. So check him out uh, next time you get a chance. All right, let's make me small and get to the hall. Yo! Oh, I feel like I disappeared there for a minute. I'm back. All right. Uh, first up, you guys know I'm a big Adam, Adam Hughes fan, so uh, I'm also, I promise I'm not trying to collect the whole run. I know I say that a lot, uh, and, and it's not that I would be ashamed to be a run collector. It's just that uh, I'm trying to keep a tight collection, and when you collect a lot of runs, there's a tendency to pick up one or two books that you don't even really like the cover necessarily that much or you're you kind of lost interest in reading the run or whatever and you pick up one or two books that are just you're not even you just have them in the collection only because you don't want to break up the run so but magazines are good for that because a lot of times the interior is all outdated anyway so here is uh wizard number 94 With a great Adam Hughes cover. Never mind the condition. This thing is old and wrinkly and rough. And, uh, it's just terrible. It might would survive a press, but it is rough. Uh, but anyway, it was only a couple bucks. Wizard Magazine with the ah right there. Some great Adam Hughes. Starring Lady Death, Vampirella, and of course Witchblade. So good stuff there. Spider-Man movie? Who's on board? I wonder which one of these fine actors will be on board for the Spider-Man movie. Be it Leonardo DiCaprio, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or Jim Carrey. Hmm. Wonder which one will make it. None. All right. Uh, let's get into the haul proper. So I picked that up at mycomicshop.com. Uh, link down below. Uh, click and sign up and whatever and, and get your books. They're good stuff. Uh, all right. We're going to the Bronze Age with some... Uh, Strangest teens of them all with the X-Men number 72. Check that out. Very cool. Pretty sure this is in the reprint run. But if it's not, let me know. But I think it is. It's like 60 something to, of course, 94. Or 93, technically. So there you go. X-Men 72. You guys know me. Anytime I find those for under 20 bucks, I scoop them up. And I add to my collection. So my early X-Men run uh, under issue 100 is getting pretty robust now. It's starting to get pretty hefty. I got like 20 or 30 issues under, not before 94, I should say. If you count 94, I have all those, 94, 95, all the way up to 101. So yeah, if you count those, the X-Men collection is growing. Probably the most rapid growing run in my collection. So next up, you guys know I love me some Jim Steranko. Here is Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number seven. With this just trippy art. That is so cool. He goes mad in this issue. There you go. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number seven. Another run I'm not really collecting. <laughs> or am I? Uh, but yeah, I've picked up quite a few of those and this is a super low grade run. So a couple of times I've had the opportunity to buy them in sets and they almost always include a couple of books that are more expensive that I already have in some cases have doubles of. So it's hard to plunk down like 150 bucks for the set. And, it, and usually you can get like the number one be somewhere around 75 to 125 in, in low to mid grade condition. And then after that, the rest of the set 
is like there's a couple of keys in there just cover buys mostly and then the rest is just kind of you know filler books but they have some great art of course and story so anyway i'm picking up this run on the cheap so anytime i see an issue for like under 10 bucks i'll snag it and uh and so i've kind of grown it from there so i think i'm somewhere around halfway done with it now but uh but i've got some of the better ones too i'm excited about that all right next up uh we'll drop back a little bit to the silver age captain america 105 here's another run that i am purposefully collecting uh although i've been hot and cold on it in the past now i'm only a couple of issues away from completing that run and actually i accidentally bought this book twice so I have to get better at, it's the only flaw in my whole system. So I purchase books on mycomicshop.com mostly. That's like 90% of my books are purchased there. And then um, I I end up buying them and I put them in my car and I don't get them for a month. So I forget that I've already purchased them. And then every now and then I'll see one and be like, oh, I need that book. And I go ahead and buy it. So I have to be better at, uh, at marking somewhere somehow the books that I've already purchased. And mycomicshop.com makes it easy. You can go on there and check your prior orders and search alphabetically, or you can just list uh, by last order. But I, who got time for all that? <laughs> I, just end up, I just end up buying doubles, and then that's what ends up getting sold at Old Bub's Con is the, uh, is the double. So, But there's some great art right there. Uh, Cap zip lining off his shield. Just classic stuff with Bat Rock. Uh, in the name of Batrock. I don't know what the heck all that's about, but he's, he's having a good time with it. All right. Next up, put the kitties to bed. This will be featured in the uh, bondage cover showcase next year. Uh, here is Essentia 13 with a great Frank Cho cover with the alien. You got the bondage there. I don't know if you can see those chains real good, but they're there. And then uh, a little extra there. Pay, pay no mind. There you go. It's a little chained up, and the alien is getting ready to, you know, work the old probe there. So, congratulations to Frank Cho for being a master at his craft. Thank you for sharing it with us. All right, next up, uh, you guys know I'm picking up these Adam, this Adam Hughes Catwoman run. Another run I'm hot and cold on. I've had them all in my sale pile, and then I've pulled them out of the sale pile. Um, and decided to keep them so it is what it is so we have catwoman number 72 with a great adam hughes cover including uh zatanna who features in the story nice when they used to do that <laughs> and i also pick up uh a modern book at least one so you got to pick up one modern book uh, a month in order for this to work in order for my little system to work and this was the modern book I picked up because why not? Uh, it was the right price. And your pre-orders, you get like 35% off. So this was 35% off. So that was pretty good. And it's Action Comics number one. I think it's the full reprint too that has all of them in there. So I like that. And I like where they put the barcode because often on Action Comics number one reprints, they'll put the barcode right over this poor Sod's face. And it really stinks when they cover that. So... At least they put it down here where there's not much else going on. So I definitely appreciate that. And they didn't like alter this to put a new price tag or anything. And it's the full book. So I like that. So I think this is now currently my third uh, copy of a reprint. So it's time to start deciding. I know I don't need three copies of this reprinted. So it's time to start deciding which ones I'm going to keep. I've got this one. I've got the... Um, loot crate exclusive one and i have the one that uh i think it's the death of superman edition one uh so i've got three of them right now and uh you know we'll have to decide which one we're going to keep uh onto the instagram pickups uh, i picked up two books that was it uh this first one was the wild wild west now technically old barb made me buy the whole run in order to get this first book but that's okay uh, we'll, we'll take care of the other ones. In fact, I think I might have already sold one of them. I can't remember at the convention last weekend. So here's the Wild Wild West number one with an early Adam Hughes back before he started using the ah and he just wrote Hughes 90. So there's early Hughes 
with the Wild Wild West number one. And then the book you've all been waiting for, the big key of the whole, even though there's some great books in there that I, to me, are keys uh, in a way, just because I'm after them for my run. But um, but this one, first appearance, it's uh, DC Comics Batman number 386 with the first appearance of Black Mask. Now, this is one of those books where from far away, I don't care for the cover because it's just two floating heads, right? Oh, I guess one's a cowl. When you get up closer, there is a ton of great art going on on this cover. I mean, all the different kinds of masks in the back. Looks like kind of a creature type mask there. That is just killer. Look at all that. And it just keeps going through the trade dress. Which they even, you know, hollowed out so that you can see all this. Made like a window panel. Mandrake. Isn't that great? Really digging it. So, pretty cool mask cover, if you will. And uh, it's all about masks. So, yeah, I'm digging that. So, there you go. That's the big... Um, that's the big reveal. Crazier than the Joker. Deadlier than Ra's al Ghul. Introducing a villain for the 80s, Black Mask. That's pretty cool. I've wanted this book for a long time. Haven't really been able to find an affordable copy for my comfort level. And then Barb threw this one up. I think we made a deal on it and, uh, and I walk away happy. So that's what you like. All right. Well, that's it for me. Uh, remember to uh, read a comic and don't apologize for the glare. Bye-bye. <laughs>